Hey everyone, Meowcity here. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So today the plan is, as a start at least, going to get the Sonorous Prophet because he has a fun looking trinket for the Navigator. No clue if that's good or not because I don't have a Navigator on the party and quite honestly I've never used a Navigator but we are going to find out later. The second part of that is I have kind of a marking party that I'm not sure is going to work out at all using some people that I'm not sure it's going to work out on. So this is going to be one big adventure, mainly because I've actually never used the Oni. I used her enough to figure out that essentially her moves work. There was no animation issues or anything like that, and after that I never used her again. Just so I could figure out how to use her on recording, which probably was not my best idea. But here we are. And then I realized she has Kleptomaniac and Fragile. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we're, we're gonna figure this out as we go. I may be able to get rid of Kleptomaniac in there. I think that there's ways to remove quirks while I'm in there. I can't quite remember, but I'm going to be running Obliterate, Inexorable Advance, Mountain Breaker, and Kanpai. Kanpai giving her a repost, Obliterate being damage versus mark, Inexorable Advance marking if I need it to and otherwise just stunning, and Mountain Breaker being a thing that just gets her back in place if I am surprised, which I don't expect to be a thing, but with my luck it can be. We have Garrus, we know how he works because he's exactly how I used him the last time, mainly just using lightning hands to get extra damage on marked things, and otherwise I'm mainly going to be using Raptorial Nature to get the Repost. Can you tell us a Repost team yet? And then getting uh, Eagle's Eye, so Yugi probably, I'm assuming is going to be doing the most damage, does extra damage. Gonna be using Sophia and Riggles with Hellfire and Brimstone to do Repost. <laughs> She also has Raid of the Third Eye, so the on non-lethal attack, deal 3 damage to enemies. Dark Omen, so that more crits received. Uh, also the Cauldron Motor buff, and then Cauldron Motor. I'm also going to be using Lily here in the fourth row. I'm not sure that's going to be doing much for me. Learning from my lesson last time, I have the Horror Amulet and the Snake Oil on her, so a little bit less stress on her and less horror amount received. She has Dark Witch, Abyss Keeper, the Heretic, Prayer, and Last right on her, so she's fully set up to be in the back row this time rather than in the front row. When I was testing her, my favorite way to play her was in the front row, but she is totally viable to be in the back row as you see. All these skills totally work, and she can mark in the back row, which is why she is viable like this. And she can also heal, so that's kind of going to be my plan, is she's going to be a marking healer, damaging when I need her, kind of like working like the Vestal. Hopefully she doesn't get too stressed out like last time. We'll see. And we'll go from there. Now hopefully I have enough money on me to get everything I exactly need here. Uh, I'm gonna get some of the essentials, but I'm not entirely sure here. Um... I am going to bring a few extra holy waters just because I know they interact with curios. I know that they interact with a few other things and I'm going to bring some medicinal herbs. We'll do that. Excavations beneath the manor were well underway when a particularly ragged indigent arrived in the hamlet. This filthy toothless miscreant boasted an uncanny knowledge of my ambitions and prognosticated publicly that, left unchecked, I would soon unleash doom upon the world. The echoes of his mindless tittering reverberate openly. Yeah, it's probably in this bottom right one here. All right, we got him surprised. Let's take advantage of it. Right of the third eye, I'm thinking on Garrus just because the extra attacks he gets. Otherwise, on Lily would kind of have the same effect. I want to see something here. First, gonna do this on Yugi. And Raptorial Nature, because non lethal attack damages the rest. Alright, we are going to Abyss Keeper because that's our free action. 
We're gonna hit the bone soldier, which is gonna do zero damage, but it is gonna mark him. And it had a potential at blight, I think it was, but it's not the biggest chance. And then, if any of them have protection. So I could hit the bone soldier, but I'm guessing Yugi is gonna take him out. So I'm just gonna do a heretic here. Press this oh, I tried. Give them no quarter. All right, obliterate. Go. Another one fall. I was gonna do Kanpai for the repose, but I don't think I need it quite yet. The horror. I'm the head of bleed. Maybe the repose would have been a good idea. <laughs> All right, let's do rare. Not that that did too much, but continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Then let's do Dark Omen on you so I can lightning hands. On pie for repost. Confusion. Nerves. Lightning hand. It's a lethal attack, we're not gonna get the extra hit. Raptorial nature. Confidence surges as the enemy. Once again, lethal attack, but you know, it works. Just madman left. Ooh. First. Mark with that. Also blight. And then I'm gonna dark witch him. As the and I think he goes down to blight. A faint hope blossoms. Taking what I can. I Probably should have brought Ladonum for her, but that's fine. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Meditating beads for the blazing lore, plus stress relief done during camping, plus protection minus dodge. Sure, and then I'm gonna take the money over the citrine. She is already so stressed out. Um, I'm gonna open with these, just for posting everything. Gonna mark. Let's go on the courtier. Didn't notice that the uh, targeting things were going a little longer than they probably should there. And then I'm gonna Dark Witch trying to take out the Madman here, just for stress reasons. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Alright. I can repost, or I can just take out the Bone Soldier, so... Now there's two left. And Lightning hands him. And no matter what I do, I can't take out the Arbalist, so I'm going to Raptorial Nature. Now we're going to hit him. And then I'm going to Prayer to heal and de-stress. So now he's marked, he's blighted. And with a little luck, we're going to go before him. I was hoping it'd be someone that could hit him. However, uh, I guess Kanpai, just in case. And that wasn't much, so there we go. Reflection got him. Taking what I can. I'm actually gonna take that overconfidence is a slow Not sure why the money didn't stack there. I think that was me. <laughs> right, on we go.
All right, let's see if I can't keep that terror fang sleeping for now. And do Abyss Keeper on the Arbalist, marking him for now. Then do Dark Witch, blighting him for a bit more. Now he's blighted for four, he has eight, depending upon when Garrus goes. We'll see. Uh, then let's do Hellfire Brimstone on these two. If I do obliterate, I might take out the Brawler. Nope. However, uh, two, two, two. Now, Arbalist drops, Raptorial Nature, Brawler down. Two of the four down. And we got Reposts up. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. <laughs> and damage reflect. Suspicious shaking. Um, you know what, I think, let's just do this, mark him, that way Garrus can get him down. I do this, you're marked as well, that way Yugi takes you out, and then we'll Dark Witch the Terrifying, blighting it. Festering fear Obliterate. The mind. Lightning hands. And down he goes. Uh, just cause that was a free action, I suppose. Taking what I can. This Look up intuition is actually not a success. bad thing. Um... Not gonna camp quite yet. However, that being said, let's give up the bandage. You're not gonna trick me twice. I have keys. I have anti venom. You're not gonna get me twice. Ah, <sighs> if you saw an episode or two ago, you saw it. <laughs> oh, now I'm paranoid. So I do need the money. Otherwise, it would take more heirlooms. Probably have too many torches now, though, so I'll do that. Ooh. Okay. So this is why I brought more keys. With the Creeping Mist mod I have, it does show here. Only use a key if the Nerub mod is installed. You actually do need a skeleton key now rather than just interacting with it. The manhole, you can hear screeching squeals coming from the underground secret world. If I were to just interact and try to open the manhole now, nothing would happen. Rather than actually just going to the fight, I need a key. Which partially makes sense, I guess. Uh, it's the same with the Banshee now. Um, rather than just digging with your hands, I guess, or just, you know, going and disturbing the grave and it happening, you need a shovel. Rats. Uh, so I'm right away gonna get the repost going because these guys are freaking nasty. And then next turn I'll get the buffs. Um, and then do the damage I can. I don't want the hook rats around; they can move me. Club rat, if I remember right, stuns. Whip rats bleed. Hook rats move and might be able to bleed. So if I did this, that's 3 to 5 plus a 2 blight, and if I did this, that's a 2 blight with more damage. <laughs> so either... I, I guess this would take him out if I did more damage, so let's do that. And I did not. Lovely. However, lightning hands. Decimated. I love Musashi's head. <laughs> All right, um, then I'm gonna up the damage. You know what? Let's let's go on Lily. And then a Raptorial Nature taking out the Whip Rat before he gets reinforcements. 
and stun this prick. That'll get rid of one of his actions. Debuff and bleed. Okay, from the whip. Abyss Keeper. Impressive. Now you're bladed, you're marked. Don't necessarily need to prayer. Um, so, yeah. Eradicated. Now we just got this big beluga. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. And punch works. At speed stone. As we take that for not, now. So I do need the deeds. Resistance. I need a lot of the stuff here, but, you know... Beggars can't be choosers, and I keep forgetting about the silver bullet, but I think I'm going to use it in the last fight, if I'm being totally honest. Sue. So, Onyx. And then I just get to use that torch. You know, I forgot to bring up my spreadsheet shit saying, like, if any of these guys interact with loot. I'm pretty sure the White Priestess, the Gun Witch, and the Arbiter don't interact with any curios. The one thing is I could be getting more silver bullets with um, the Gun Witch if I had the right move on. I'm not sure about Yugi. I'm not sure about the Oni. I'm pretty sure she doesn't. She doesn't say she interacts with anything here, like... None of her moves interact with loot, which half the modded stuff does, but yeah. Wait, guarantee the nighttime ambush. That's a, that's an interesting one. All right, so I can use last rites, which could be good for taking out the brigand treasure. And then I might have it back in the fight for the prophet. So, plus 150% damage. So, I'd probably do 2 to 3, if not 3 to 4 damage to him, plus the Blight. I'd have better accuracy, so I'd probably have like 100% accuracy and... ...14% crit? That's actually a lot on him, considering he has 12 health. Let's do that. Because he drops some good loot if I get him. Considering that's what she can do to hit him. Then the two blight, he's marked. If I do heretic, I hit both of them. They're both blighted. I can then stun him. You, you may be seeing frames drop, by the way. My computer is freaking out again for whatever reason. I, I do apologize. Um, The one fix I do know, because I've ran through a lot of them, but at this point is like totally reinstalling Windows, which I really do not want to do. <laughs> the ground quakes. Uh, so lightning hands. Then he's down, so I got my loot. We're going to Raptorial Nature here. He should blight out. Just leaving the Fusilier. I've actually... Now this doesn't make sense to me. I, I just want to point this out, and then I'll get back to the game, I'm sorry. I've limited my frame rate to, on anything I do to 60 frames per second, right? Like I've gone into the graphics card um, control panel and done that. So why, why did I just drop 115 frames if I'm limiting it to uh, 60 frames? Math does not math, unless I screwed something up there, which I mean, it's me could happen. <laughs> I'm human. I might have messed something up there. But I did limit the frame rate to 
60. So why did I drop 115 there? <laughs> math does not math. So I, I do gotta admit, I, I really do like Lily back here. Um, with a group that's dedicated to Mark, this is really fun. We'll see how it works on the boss. And like, I haven't needed to heal really yet, so I don't know how this will work when I need to heal. But her restoration is keeping her alive right now, which is awesome. So fire starter glove, very rare. It's for the runaway only. 10% melee skills, so I'd have to look at that, but I don't think she has very many melee skills. Plus 10 accuracy, minus 2 speed, minus 20% max HP. On melee hit, debuff target, fire attacks, plus 25% damage received. So I think this stacks with any fire attack the runaway already does. That's really good. Yeah. But what do I want to get rid of? Because I really want to save the bullet for the boss. So, and I, I know I need the, both the bus and the deeds. Uh, I'm really close to the Sanguine Vintners. And being able to get rid of the debuffs may save me on the boss. Because remember, this is this is Cho's rework for the Sonorous Prophet, which I've never fought. So I'm not sure if I'm going to need anything here. Don't I have a Book of Intuition? And that's going to be the easiest thing to get rid of there. And I don't have, the reason I got rid of the antiques there is the antique was from the boss. And I don't think I'm going to find more antiques. So. The secret room up there. I don't have keys for it, but it still might be worth a Even the check out. Stone seems bent on preventing passage. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. 600 gold, yay! I mean, I knew I wasn't getting ahead from that, but I was thinking maybe the gems to replace the gold there. So we got a room battle with a curio here. And then we got the boss, if I'm correct here, which I should be, yeah. Measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alone. All right, Klepto. Just a bone torture. Uh, I shouldn't be saying just. They can be bad, but... All in all, it could be much worse. So let's heretic so we get a blight on both of them. I can then lightning hands him. Let's stun the defender before he stuns us. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, Hellfire Runestone, these two. I only can't use Burst, that's fine. So, he actually goes down. So what I'm gonna do here is Eagle Eye her, so when she gets her turn, she can Mountain Break or the Arblast. Lightning Hands, we're gonna take out the Bone Soul. I want to Raptorial Nature, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> Almost looked like she got hit there. That mountain breaker. I was thinking she'd be able to hit row four. Fine. Destroyed. Shoulder check. And then we'll cauldron motor. Actually, probably should have had people in these rows to begin with. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. Dark Witch. And we're fine. 
taking what I can. We'll leave that. We'll grab this. But a victory nonetheless. Now, part of me says to camp right now, and then I could get warm up. Indomitable actually would be really good for this next fight. Oven tactics would as well. Oh, that's right. I can't help by your brimstone. That's why I had her there. All right. Yeah, I'll risk the uh, nighttime ambush, I think. Gonna feast for health and stress. In tenuous firelight. And I'm really tempted to get the blighted mutation here. Just to see if that's how I evolve it. I'll see where I'm kind of at after this. So I'm gonna do warm up just to act secret speed. We're gonna do coven tactics for dodge speed crit damage. Plus one damage on Lily is going to be absolutely bonkers. That leaves me with five. So if I wanted to do Blighted Mutation, now is when I have to do it. Otherwise, I could do Desperado, getting the extra duration on Hellfire Brimstone. But then what would I do with the extra two? Indomitable. Or do I want to risk it? 60 stress would put her nearly at Affliction. Actually, yeah, just nearly at Affliction. So she's going to get afflicted or yeah, she's she has her own affliction thing. So she is going to get afflicted in the boss fight, but it might be worth the test. Yeah, am I crazy? I mean, yes, don't don't answer that. I know that. But part of me just wants to say do it just to see if that's how we do it. Screw it. I thought she was going to get a lot more stress. But she has this minus stress stuff on her. That's great. Okay. So, mind you, minus 10 protection. High chance on turn start. Blight one per round. Okay. Evolvable. Oh. I thought that's how it worked, but she resisted it. So, that's, that's not how that works, or she just resisted it and it's a chance. We'll find out. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most... Oh, an animated armor. Place. Oh. So we're going to have to do Mountain Breaker. I'm going to hit the Acolyte. Do Hellfire Brimstone for the repost. Uh, we're going to do... Yeah, I was hoping that would hit get the blade on him. Uh, Dark Witch hitting the Acolyte just for stress reasons. And then you can move forward that way. You can use Raptorial Nature. Quickly Oof. Five turns. Okay. Round two. Omen. I know that was a bit silly, but we got Mark. Tanpai, get the restoration. Get the repost. Lily. Heal. Lightning hands. Precision and power. Raptorial. In radiance, may we find uh -oh. victory. Ancient soul evolves a white priestess's umbral. So this is what I had gotten during my testing estate, which should evolve. Umbral Knight. Umbral Pact 1. Umbral Knight. Damage plus 10%. Accuracy plus 10%. Crit plus 2. Evolvable. So I'm really hoping that these don't, like, get lost from other quirks and I don't have to get them locked in somehow. If they are, um... I'll figure something out. 
but now Umbral Knight is better. Which is a scary thought because it's a free action. We're going to take this. We're going to take the portrait. And I'll take the onyx. And then we're just going to go down. Umbral Pact 1 to Umbral Pact 2. What? So I just got this from walking? That quickly? Damage plus 20%. Accuracy plus 20%. Crit plus 4. I mean, if I just get that from walking around now, I know I don't have to, like try to get blighted mutation again i think once again someone can correct me on that that's a scary thought later i can try to de-stress lily in this uh you can compi that'll heal you a bit Hellfire Brimstone, these two. Executed oh. with impunity. Well, I mean, it's a de-stress. <laughs> the de-stress, all right. Creatures can be felled. They can be. Hey, we're gonna do that. All right. Uh, I think I'm gonna pop the food on Garrus. Then we'll do that. No one needs medicinal herbs from now. I'm gonna do this. Then do that and. In we go. Star is See what happens. The madman hides there behind the pews, spouting his. So I do want to break as many of the pews as possible. Um. That being said, let's get repose up if I can, and then I'll get to hitting him. Actually, I'll see. Uh, just kind of what well struck. damage he does here because this could be bad so I'll also do right of the third eye on her just for uh if she doesn't do a lethal attack she'll keep doing damage to everything and she gets two attacks around we could do it on Garrus too but lightning hands it Raptorial nature, one down. And he has a repost. Oh, he can cure his own blight. I mean, I've always thought that was a little weird. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. Can't stun him. Just gotta break through the pews. Gotcha. Up her damage. Can't do lightning hands, nothing's marked. Raptorial nature, because that should up how much damage reflection I have, yeah. 44 damage reflection. Um Lily will mark. I'll fire brimstone. Get reflect or er, repost up. I'll probably get this one on the next turn. So you blockade two. No, I probably need to go straight onto damage with him. A singular strike. I need the uh, blight on because that's going to go into a restoration. So heal her. That's gonna be bad. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. And I wanted to move Lily back. I 
how long is this going to last? One more round. We'll break this. There, go in this one, because that's what I can do. Alright. Wait, hands. Bonk. Abyss Keeper, because then that'll damage the other two, yeah. There we go. That repost is doing some work. But now this is going to land on Sophia. So I need to be a little careful, especially because she's stunned now. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Now oh, what does this do? Let's go. You, you, you have the mo least stress and one of the most health. It's just a stun. That's fine. Now I know. Break blockade, please. Now she's gonna blight everyone. The mind cannot hope to withstand such an assault. That's fine, that's fine. She can steal the blight from Sophia, take it for herself, then heal. Uh, we're still going to do this. We're gonna hit the prophet. We'll blight him for a bit. That crit's gonna help, okay. Wait, he's still stunned. Injury and despondence is a uh -oh. stage for heroism or cowardice. Yugi, break this. Got my third pew. We can take him out. I'm fine with that. Uh. Okay, why can't I do last rites? Very confused. There we go. Uh, last rites. So then I can do huge heal, buff, de stress, all that jazz. Because she can't hit the prophet with any. Now I can't use prayer. Okay. Well, at least we can get the repulse there. <laughs> I'm a little confused as how some of that works. Uh, cause she should have been able to use her last right, yeah. It, it only triggered after I used one of my moves, so maybe that was why. See his own demise. I care not. So long as he remains dead. Uh, we're gonna take this and take the ball and chain trophy. I, <laughs> I was saving the silver bullet for the prophet, and then I didn't get to use the silver bullet on the prophet because the one person I wanted to use it on got perma stunned. Which I'm kind of interested to see how much this sells for. Uh, then we'll do this, and then we'll do this. Profit down, no one died, yay! So yeah, we got the conversation of momentum, so plus damage melee skills, minus accuracy, 
range skills on melee attack buff selves three speed got 15,000 gold which is going to help out a lot bunch of heirlooms silver bullet did sell for something so let me see here it doesn't sell for much it's like 500 at most so if you stack them up they're going to be worth something but uh sophie and regal got spellbreaker plus debuff resistance after 300 rounds evolves into hexer so i mean that's something to hang on to garris got daredevil plus 15 dodge if hp below 25 percent and scattering on lily that one's gonna suck the plume and, and stirring the in the field plot quest harvest moon end to my folly and a curse upon us all farmhands disappearing cattle running off and whispers from within the vast field something is amiss so that is a very short quest however it is a veteran so i can't exactly do it with what i have i only have one veteran otherwise i'd just go do it now i could possibly do it with some level twos it's not the hardest quest in the world it is a little bit dangerous though the plan kind of is to go and do a short really quick actually this one could be really helpful on monster kill gain gun witch trinket eight percent chance i'm not sure you know how lucky i'm gonna be with that but if i'm gonna continue using the gun witch that could be really helpful so i might go get this in the courtyard uh i should also check this stagecoach really quick uh do i have a leper actually i do not have a leper do i so let's get that this man understands that adversity and existence are one and the same. And then I see two others that I'd really like to hire, and I'm just double checking really quick that I don't have them. I do have an heir, okay, because really good for getting heirlooms, but I don't have a magician. Two things to go over really quick. I know that we just got done with the Sun Earth Prophet and all that, so I should just be jumping in straight to the next mission. So I, I will go over that, and we are still going for the Preserved Dive. I had to go do a few things, so I closed the game. And when I re tried to reopen the game, the file actually would not start no matter what I tried to do. So shout out to some of the mods in the PIC Project Iron Crown Discord. Thanks to you. You know who you are if you're watching this. A full disclosure that they suggested I install the um what is it the darkest.exe which upgrades the ram available to the game because for some reason uh even though modern systems and all that you can only use two gigabytes of ram or something like that for darkest dungeon it upgrades that to four and also upgrades a lot of item limits and trinket limits and even though i only have this many trinkets i do have a lot of heroes so it might be something related to that or whatever i i genuinely don't know but yeah i couldn't start the game like every i could start the game i could start any of my test files which are leaps and bounds farther than this which is kind of funny this is week 25 and my farthest test file is on week 80 but yeah that that one could start fine but this one couldn't yeah after installing the darkest.exe i can now start this file so full disclosure that i'm using that now if uh, you're having any trouble with this file uh, that may help you but yeah we're gonna be going into the crimson courtyard plus to get the preserved eye for the gun witch um, on top of broomstick giving plus torch uh, on monster kill chance to gain a gun witch trinket which i'm not sure how good that's gonna be for me because it's an eight percent chance and my luck is shite if you all know that but we're going to get it. I'm going to be going in with a bleeding team. The actual plan for this is to be getting some people here, mainly Papillon. Actually, this is a short, so I don't think Damien, even if I were to put the Ancestor's portrait on him, would get to level 3. But we're going to be getting him and Priscilla to level 3. So I'm going to have 3 out of 4 people for veterans after this for things like the Hollowed Harvester when they come up if I want the trinkets from them. So I don't go, oh, I want this, but I can't get it again. Next time, I'm probably also going to get a person to level 3 if I can. But then also I'm bringing uh, Ghost, the vessel, because now that I have the Gathering Swarm, I want to use it. He he's also going to have the Bloody Feather, so he can do damage to bleeding things which the flagellant and the saw hunter are gonna do i was really tempted to put on the new punishing hood for the flagellant but considering that we're going to be going into the crimson courtyard i think i'm going to save that for another time but as you can see this is a lot of extra damage uh, i'm just going to really quick put on some moves i want everyone seems to have 
everyone should be good with moves. Papillon has the usual stuff I have, bloodletting teeth into the wound, serrating knife, visceral attack. I'm not changing a thing on Priscilla, so she'll be good. I'm just going to really quick get stuff from the blacksmith, because it looks like they can be upgraded. And it would be kind of silly not to at this point. Kind of tempted to get these upgrades, but I really need to save for the hero barracks upgrade there. And the guild, on the other hand, might be worth the upgrade. Um, that way I can get both cheaper skills later on and... I probably should have bought that before I upgraded everyone, but also uh, level threes for the veterans when I do play with them. And then I can leave it at that for now. I need nine more busts for the Vintners and I should be good. Um, Yeah, we gotta go down. It's 100% battle rooms. I'm gonna save this for on our way back, but we can burn it. Same with this, it's food and other loot, but let's see how this group does. You know, he was going to be my first target just because of that move. Even with the minus speed, he goes first on my team. There's something wrong about that. Alright, bleeding for two. So we're going to... Yeah, we'll, we'll still bleed him. Now he bleeds out. Have her move back. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. And bloodletting teeth. Now with luck, ghosty goes and destroyed. Pop. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but it's money, yeah, which is what this trinket gives me. No, I'm gonna keep him in row two for now, just because blood or not bloodletting teeth, uh, piercing slash is stronger. It's a little bit less of a crit chance, but it has armor piercing and it just does more damage. I'm good with that. Finding the stuff. And those are the busts first. I need, so I can't throw these now away. Be carried home. I can, I just really should not. Alright, then I'm gonna bleed both of them. Whoever goes down. By inches. Very high chance to take out Sycophant. Obliterated. So that'll get me more gold. Let's bleed both of them. Three and seven, so he bleeds out, so into the wound would not really do much. Gentleman down. Next one bleeds out. That's that. The slow death. I'm gonna miss playing with Papillon for a while. I really, really am. I really like him. And him being level 3 means I'm not going to get to play him for a very long time, except for, like, a few veteran quests here and there while I'm leveling everyone else up. Because, like I said, uh, doing, like, say, what was it, um, Harvest Moon for the Hollowed Harvester. And there is so much food here. I have three stacks of food. This is ridiculous. And no, okay, one person needed one food there. That that seems like a waste. Mind that such missteps are the exception and not the rule. This is a short too. I can't even camp with it. Uh, nope, that's not going to be a thing. I'm going to take this fight on the off chance I get a Crimson Courtyard trinket from the fight. 
I don't think it's going to be a thing. I'm going to take the fight. Lead the supplicant. That way I can enter the wound on him. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. I'm going to lunge at him. And now this poor sycophant. I shouldn't say poor. They're annoying as hell. And on the plus side, now it's only 11 minutes in. I haven't had a single frame drop. Either this or anything I might have done to my computer might have fixed my issues. Once again, thank you mods. I know I should have done this a while back. I was just being bullheaded like usual and going, I don't need to do this. It works as is. Why add extra things to my computer that can obviously run it? <laughs> yeah. Actually, we're we're gonna do this before going into the fight. Once again, I know I don't have to do it. I know I could have used a torch for done stress. We got stuff. Not exactly what I wanted, but we we got stuff. Also, I didn't realize I got five blood from this already. Which will be nice to bring back because like people need the blood. Until I get more buffs, people need the blood. I might actually have to trade for it. Of course, maggots. And if I did Lace Raiding Cyclone, I'd probably take two of them out. Back to the pit. Go, ghost. Executed with impunity. Why do maggots have 600 gold on them? Why did three maggots have 600 gold on them? Questions I genuinely don't want to know. Uh, there is not an obstacle there. So I'm going to be very stupid here. I was going to toss the shovels, but then I remembered that, like, there's actually curios there that interact with the shovels. Alright, so... Screw the tick. I mean, I should say screw the Webbers in particular, but screw the tick. I thought he was going to mark me, to be honest. Um, okay. I'm going to Lace Raiding Cyclone. That'll probably take both of them out. Actually, oof. Lead for four. Yeah, we'll do this. Another one falls. They're not gonna leave corpses. Be gone, feet. And then she can take out the tick. I forgot that she hits the first two no matter what. <laughs> so go Priscilla. Um there's only one curio left there. Torches are gonna do the least for me, I think. Actually, <laughs> there, there is a thing that would get me gems, I suppose, but. We're gonna open this. Of course it's trapped. This is not a mimic. Oh, it's him. He wants blood. We can give him blood. This will get us trinkets. Wealth beyond measure. Maybe not the best trinkets, the but it gets us trinkets. I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna treat the bleeding. No one has a debuff. I'm gonna run over here and do the last fight just because I can. He is 100%. It's a chance at something, you know, before leaving. I really would like a chance at more heirlooms or something. Precision and power. 
Yeah, let's do Lace Raiding. It'll take out the Kokot. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Now, bleed these two. Gentleman has seven bleed. He has four health. He goes down. So now, take out the one with more health. Decimated. Two bleed, four health. If I kill him with ghost, you'll get more bleed. Or not more bleed, uh, more gold. Not that I need it. But it's a thing. Take that. As victories mount, take these. So too will resistance. The green signet ring really worth it. Gold is actually worth more than those, so I definitely will take almost a full stack of gold over the jade. Um, I just don't see myself using the green signet ring, and I do need the heirlooms. Easy as that. And then, reserve die, three deeds, a lot of gold. For a group that actually wasn't really meant to go in and get gold, it's just, you know, Ghost had that trinket on him. 28 crests, two more deeds, and two more busts. So, Priscilla did get vampiric spirits, which I'll have to get off of her. It's not the worst thing in the world, but 50% debuff could be nasty. Runes Explorer on Damien. So plus 10% scouting chance in the runes, and then Papillon, Priscilla hit level 3. Can you feel it? I do have a librarian. Um, as much as I would like to have multiples of them because of the hitting, like, in here. levels faster thing. Uh, I should have put people in treatment, but oh well. I do not think I am going to use Ching in the next dungeon. So Lily and Ching can go, and then let's put Juni... Julia the second in. Uh, let's check out the stagecoach. I don't think I have a Forsaken. This is a Forsaken rework that was it Hetty recently redid. So let's get him. I swear I'm mixing files up a lot. So okay, I do have the rest of these though. So I can't get any of them. I can get the Hero Barracks upgrade, which I desperately need. Seeking fortune and glory. And then this domain of the damned. Let me see something here. I know this is a really stupid idea, mind you, but 21 would get me seven busts. And I really think I need to get this running right now. So I'm going to do that trade. Get the Sanguine Vintners, two bottles of blood brewed each week. I don't have many people with the Crimson Curse right now. One, two, yeah, just two right now. So that'll keep them seated. So what I think I'm going to do next time is go in for... So, uh, oof. We need rock in a hard place right now. I have a Legion just so I can look at his skills and see how good that is for him. I do not. But I'm really tempted to go get this because minus 65% melee skills does not seem like a good trade-off for 3 Blight. Now I'm really tempted to see. I'm really tempted to go get that and see how good that is once I have him. So yeah, I, I think next time I I have to go into the Crimson Courtyard just to get the Venonac. Not, not sure who I'm going to go in with. I might as well go in with Damien again just because leveling him up. But like, I'm not sure if I want to go in with an heir to get more heirlooms, which I'm going to desperately need. So, okay. I think what I'm going to do is go in with another version of a bleeding team and see kind of what I can do. That way, Constance and Damien will level up a bit. I'll get some heirlooms and Vetra will also get closer to level three. That way I can maybe use her for a boss. So I can go into Courtyard Plus, get the Venon Axe at least. I don't think it's going to be a great trinket, but I see shenanigans in this. The, the minus 65% damage melee skills gets me. So that'll be it for this time. It really helps out the channel if you like the video, if you liked it. Dislike the video if you dislike it. Comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz, not that it's needed. And as always, I wish you all well. See you next time, and please, have a good one.